Hi, welcome to my next video. Um, I My first stop was Swaggerty Fort. I headed out in Tennessee. Um, it took me in a direction I didn't want to go in. It took me back toward Newport, Tennessee, and I really didn't want to be in Newport or near Newport. I thought I was going north toward uh, Bull Gap or Greenville, Tennessee. Anyway, Anyway, nonetheless, I went out to Swaggerty Fort, and it was about 15 or 16 miles out. It was, it was a bust. Um, there was no, it's just a, a, an old building on the side of the road. Um, you know, it's a historical marker on the side of the road in an old building. Um, I would have gotten out and photographed it if, if I could have found a place to park, but there was no place to park, really. So I decided, nope, that, that's a bust, so I, I couldn't really park, so... So I just had to let that one go. Now I'm headed to my next stop, which is Bible Covered Bridge, and hopefully there will be um, parking. Anyway, um, I just pulled in here at this little um, convenience store, gas station, and um, get ready to leave in just a just a second. I'm not going in there. Um, I was kind of thinking today might be a Burger King or McDonald's day, and I realized, gee, I could probably get myself a fish sandwich at Burger King the other day. I went into Arby's, and I thought they still had their fish sandwiches. They don't, so it was a complete bust. Anyway, didn't get that. Anyway, so maybe today. Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave here, and I'm going to head out to Bible Covered Bridge. It's going to be, I think, 11 or 12 miles. So, anyway... I'll be back with you guys a little bit later. Okay, guys, I'm out here at the uh, Bible Covered Bridge. Turns out the Bible Covered Bridge was actually named after a family named Bible. I would have assumed that it was just because GPS says it's Bible Branch Road, but it's actually Denver Bible Lane or something like that. So, I got up here, and I'm going to walk through. I was going to walk through, but I'm like, you know what? That ro that that wood looks um, kind of, it doesn't look so, uh, doesn't look so hot. So, and you can see up here, eh, it don't look so hot. But, that's okay, because I can walk right around the road and go to the front side okay here we are at the front of the um, covered bridge I decided just to walk around the just take the road out here to the front it's kind of cold today I mean it's not it's kind of it's not the it's nice today, but it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of a little cold to me. I was wearing a short sleeve shirt, and I had to put on a long sleeve shirt. Got up this morning, thought I could wear my flip-flops, and then realized it was a little too cool for that, so I ended up putting my shoes and socks back on. Okay. I'm going to walk through here in a second. I didn't want to do it from the other side. It kind of looks a little iffy on the boards but and here's the here's the creek or river or whatever you want to call that well I don't really want my car in the video so let's go back around to the front and do it the other way okay here I am on this side walk through. I didn't want my car in the video. It wasn't so bad. I walked through here. The boards are a little bit. They're old. They're very, very old. And uneven, too. I saw some rotted boards up the ramp that cars would have, or, or wagons or whatever, would have taken at some point, and I was a little miffed about walking through here, but it's okay. Now, here we are. Okay, uh, I apologize, I'm kind of ta talking under my breath a little bit, 
And see, here's the bridge that I uh, walked. I walked across, or drove across, and then walked across. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go out here and do a little bit of video over here on the creek side. Beautiful area out here. I see an old barn up there in the in the distance. So I might drive down this road just a little bit when I uh, get done here. I was thinking about just walking, but I have to see how we see about the weather because it's a little cool. I'm sure this water is really nice in the summertime when it's really hot. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Okay guys, I'm out here at the uh, Bible Covered Bridge. Turns out the Bible Covered Bridge was actually named after a family named Bible. I would have assumed that it was just because GPS says it's Bible Branch Road, but it's actually Denver Bible Lane or something like that. So I got up here and I'm going to walk through. I was going to walk through, but I'm like, you know what? That road, that that wood looks um kind of it doesn't look so uh doesn't look so hot. So and you can see up here eh, it don't look so hot. But that's okay because I can walk right around the road and go to the front side. Here's the field right across the street from the, uh, the Bible Covered Bridge. And regardless of the, of the weather, it, it, it's a little cool. Regardless of the weather being kind of cold out here, and mostly because the wind is blowing, it's still very beautiful and a nice, clear, beautiful day. Okay, I'm ne I'm just now leaving the Bible covered bridge. Now I got to find something else to do. Um, I think I'm going to drive down this little road right here next to the to the bridge and see what's down there to take pictures of, and then I'm going to map back to Parrotsville, Tennessee, because um, on the way there was or, or coming out here there was an old church I kind of want to stop and um, take a look at. So I'm hoping that um, I want to stop at. So I'm hoping that uh, the ma map will take me back the same direction that I went. I, at least that's that's my hope. Anyway, be back with be back with you guys in a little bit. 
it is a it's kind of cold today it shouldn't be cold but it's kind of cold anyway i'll be back in just a bit okay guys um i left um bible covered bridge and then i started making my way down 321 north i did not find the old uh church that I wanted to stop at. I really wanted to, too, because it, it looked very old, but I didn't find it. Came down here, and I'm in downtown Greenville, Tennessee now, and I can't, and I was just driving through, decided to take business 321 North. I'm glad I did, and I found across the street and an old car museum. Well, actually, there was a, there's an old sheriff's car out front, so that I went down the road here parked and got out came back took pictures and then I stumbled on to Andrew Johnson's homestead so now I'm gonna walk you guys it, it's not open the house itself is not open it's closed now but I'm gonna walk you around the grounds a little bit Can imagine what this looked like um, 200 years ago, 100, 100 years ago even. There's the back of the house. Of course, back in the day, it wasn't anything like this. Oh my gosh, I see a little groundhog running across the uh, grass there. And a squirrel. I saw one, a groundhog yesterday, too. Okay, let's go over here. Here it talks about the homestead grounds. And then it goes on out through here. It's kind of a it's, it's kind of chilly today. And this looks like it takes, well, there's a bridge there. It looks like this crosses over to the next high, the next road over there. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Too bad the uh, house isn't open, but I don't know what the admission is. And I probably won't be back up here to tomorrow. Maybe, but probably not. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take a few photographs. Here's the big Methodist church, guys. There's a grounds down behind that, but I'm not gonna walk into that. Beautiful old church. A little cold out there today. I looked at the weather, it's only 61 degrees right now. A uh, li little bit chilly, a little bit cold, but once I walked around, I warmed up a bit. Um, next is a slideshow of the Andrew Johnson uh, homestead and a slideshow of a little bit of the nature around it. Here is a slideshow of an old, um, an old building that's 
on the other street walking through behind the Andrew, Andrew Johnson homestead. Um, there's also a slideshow or video of the old Methodist church and just a couple other things and um, a sign. Here's a slideshow of the old car museum and the old cars that are across the street from the Andrew Johnson homestead. Hi guys, I'm here at Burger King. I finally um, got my uh, fish sandwich. Anyway, I um, just wanted to touch base for just a second. I'm going to try to leave here. I'm in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, anyway, and I'm going to leave here and maybe find something else to photograph. Uh, something. The sun's still out, but it's 7 o'clock, so I've only got about an hour, maybe a little better. Anyway, I, I see, for some reason, and this happens on this app, I see like a green that keeps flashing in the background. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's on the app. Anyway, so, anyway, um, and the reason I'm using this, this app as opposed to my phone or the Bloom app, which I prefer, is because um, it, it just... The others use up so much data. Now, I did notice that Sweet Candy Cam doesn't use that much data. So, <clears throat> I could have used it. I, I don't know why. I didn't even think about using it today because it uses about the same amount of data as Camera 365. But for whatever reason, I just forgot and I didn't. Anyway, I'm here at Burger King. I got a fish sandwich. It was pretty good. It wasn't as good as the one at Arby's. But Arby's no longer sells the fish sandwich. They said that it was just a promotion or something, and so they don't have it anymore. So anyway, um, the fish was pretty, it was good, it was good, I liked it. It's not quite big enough, though, the, the portion, I mean, it's a good sandwich, but it's not quite big enough, not, it's not as big as the Whopper. And I asked for some tartar sauce on the side, or like tartar sauce packets, but they don't have the packets, so she put it in a cup for me, and that tartar sauce is really, really good. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use it later. Um, that's not going to work. So, because tonight, it's already 7. So, tonight when I eat, I'll, this is pretty much my only meal for the day. So, uh, the last few days, I've only been eating one meal a day, like I said, because I've been getting upset stomach. Hopefully, I'm okay. This doesn't, you know, cause me upset stomach. But if it does, there's not much I can do about it anyway. Tonight, I'll probably just have a little snack, maybe some peanut butter crackers and a little applesauce. That's what I usually have at night. When when I eat a bigger meal earlier in the day, I usually just have maybe some peanut butter crackers, a little applesauce, maybe a granola bar, just something light, something small, not really a meal. Um, and so far, it's been like every other day now. I've been kind of eating more or eating, you know, eating something out or eating something from the deli, you know, every other night, which I, I'm not real happy with. Anyway, um, I'm going to, um, which is okay because I'm, I'm headed back. I'll be going back to the house I share with my ex-husband. Well, that I'm temporarily sharing with my ex-husband, um, in a few days. I've only got like about six more days and then I have to, I have to be there for my physical therapy and then I've got a lot of other appointments. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, end this video for, for now because I'm going to head on down the road, see what I can find, maybe take a few more pictures. So I'll see you guys later. Hey, I'm at Pickles Restaurant. It's been out of business now for I don't know how long. 
Um, I just pulled in here and I noticed I saw a sign that uh, said eight miles into Johnson City, Tennessee, and that is absolutely not the di the, the direction I want to go in. So anyway, but I was up in Greenville, Tennessee. So anyway, absolutely not the direction I want to be in. So I just took a left, you know, into this. Uh, just I just took a left here to turn around. I pull in, I, I see this abandoned or empty restaurant. There's a sign here saying restaurant for rent. Anyway, this place looks like it's been out of business for I don't know how long. It says all you can eat catfish Friday night. It looks like I, it says something 95. I'm not sure what that 95 is. Anyway, um, who knows? Anyway, so I turn around here and I see it and I go, okay. This is going to be the last pictures that I'm going to get of the day, absolutely. So, um, I figured, what the heck, I'm going to take some pictures. I didn't do any video. Um, upcoming will be just like a, a short slideshow video that I that I did. I did take the pictures, but I didn't do any actual video of it. I just, I just didn't want to. Anyway, it's getting dark. It's getting kind of dark. So, anyway, and I have to get to my next stop. I've got to map to my next stop. I'm probably going to go to, excuse me, excuse me, I'm getting sleepy, I'm getting a little sleepy, I didn't, and I drank some Dr. Pepper, I uh, didn't, I slept pretty good last night, but I got kind of cold, anyway, my next stop is probably going to be a truck stop, so, probably a pilot, maybe, I'm not sure, anyway, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video for now. I'll be back I'll be back a little bit later, but for now I'm gonna end this video and take off to map to my next destination and take off. So I'll, I'll Hi, I'm at my final destination. I'm here at the pilot, uh, at a pilot truck stop uh, in White Pine, Tennessee. Um, I do, on occasion, come to this particular truck stop. I don't all the time. Uh, there's like two pilots here. There's a Weigel's. Um, I haven't tried Weigel's yet. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll stay. I think last year when I was here, Weigel's wasn't open. So maybe if I'm here any longer than this, I will stay maybe at the, uh, at Weigel's or at the other pilot. Anyway, anyway, I did, I was in, like I said before, I was eight miles outside of Johnson City and I, there's nothing there. There's no, no place really that I wanted to stay. I didn't, like I said, I didn't look up any campsites today. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll look around and see what campsites are, are available. Anyway, um, so I came back here. I'm at the truck stop. I didn't, cause I didn't have time to look for any uh, camping spots. Would have probably been full. I pull in here to the pilot and there's like four or five vans, like the big Ford Transits. And then on the other side, it's full. It's really busy tonight. It's full. There's like four or five of those of those transit vans. Um, two or three pickups on the other side. Uh, one's got his hood up. They're working on it. And then a bunch of cars on the other side. I've never, I actually had to park in a different spot. And this is actually a really big truck stop. It used to be, uh, I think, the old Wilco Hess. Anyway, um... It's actually a really big truck stop. It's got a lot of parking. There's a ton of parking over here on the side facing out toward the, the truck area. And then there's a bunch of parking right in the middle. And there's parking on the opposite side of the uh, of, of the store. And then the other truck stop down the road, it's not bad. It's got, it's parking not as good as this one. But it has a fair amount of parking. I've, I've parked there before. And Weigel's looks like it has a fair amount of parking. Um, it's not that busy at night, though. That's one reason I don't like it as well. It's 24 hours, but it's not as busy at night. Um, and Pilot, of course, is. Now, la last time I was here, last time, and Pilot wasn't that busy at all. Anyway, um, I look around and I go, oh, it looks like they're having a van convention. Anyway, so I left eight miles outside of, I'm not sure exactly where it was, but it was eight miles outside of Johnson City. 
and my stomach starts hurting and I'm like, you know what? I'm like, oh no, oh no. I've got 35 mile, actually I did pass a couple of decent um, gas stations along the way so I could have stopped. There were a, a couple I stopped but my, my stomach started hurting, just really hurting, you know. Um, just hurting, you know, like I'm gonna get, like I'm gonna get to runs or something, but luckily I didn't. My, my stomach just started hurting, and then it kind of went away, and it started hurting again, and I'm like, oh no. The Burger King, I, I, I did not think that the Burger King would bother me, because I, usually, the only time that it's ever bothered me is if I eat, like, a, a Whopper, and and it and it doesn't always bother me when I eat a Whopper. The last time it bothered me, I think the onions weren't good. But there were no onions on this sandwich. It was a fish. I ordered fish. And I didn't think fish a fish would bother me, but obviously it did because my stomach started hurting kind of bad. And like I was going to end up with, you know, upset stomach, the runs, whatever. And this has happened before occasionally it'll happen at Burger King, but not very often. I mean, when I was pulling into Burger King, I was kind of thinking, I don't know if this is such a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't do this, but if it, if I hadn't have, then I've already eaten, so I'm, I'm good. Um, I'll probably wake up with upset stomach. I'll probably either wake up in the middle of the night with upset stomach or wake up in the morning with upset stomach. I don't know which. I hope not, but I may. Anyway, this particular truck stop does, does has a lot of bathrooms. That's the one thing. A lot of stalls, I mean, not a lot of bathrooms. A lot of stalls. The other, the other truck stop does not. I know that I was in there one time, and it's only got I think maybe three, three stalls. So it's not, not, not as big as this one. It's only got maybe three stalls. It might have four, but maybe. But I think it's only maybe got three, three or four. It's not, not very big. And I know one time I was in there and they had to open up the showers to let women go. And I just, anyway, this one's got a lot more. This one has a lot more, um, a lot more stalls, like seven or eight of them. So it's, so it's, you know, hopefully, you know, there's a lot, it's busy, but hopefully, you know, you walk in and there's, there's, you can get a stall pretty quickly. Cause I've been in some where they're out. I mean, I, last few weeks I've been on the road and I swear, Every time I go out on the weekend or whenever I go out, it's like some of these truck stops are so busy. The women, they're like out the door, out the door, you know, a line out the door. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that said, I am um, at my final stop. I think, I, you, let me let me rephrase. I think I'm at my final stop. I might go a little bit, my stomach's bothering me a little bit, but I might. I might, but that's like a, that's like a maybe a 5% chance that I'm going to keep driving because I'm not sleepy. When I got my, um, my sandwich at dinner, I got Dr. Pepper. Now, normally Dr. Pepper doesn't wake me up. I mean, doesn't wake me up that much. It doesn't, it's got caffeine, but it doesn't really wake me up that much. So normally, uh, it, I, it, do, normally it doesn't affect me and I get really, I get sleepy no matter. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes. I'm going to pull together my videos and, you know, I got to go, the, I got to, you know, I got to pee anyway. Um, I will do that and I'll say how I feel, you know, if I want to drive a little bit further down the road, I will. If I don't, I won't. Um, there's maybe, like I said, a 5% chance that I will go down the road, but maybe not. Anyway, so this is the end of the video. I'm at, I'm, I'm at my final stop, most likely. It's really busy here, but I'm at my final place, most likely. I, you know, there's a chance I could drive down the road, but I probably won't. Anyway, doesn't matter, whatever. Um, regardless, whether I stay here or I go down the road, I will, I've got a little snack. I'm going to, a little bit later, I know I'll be a little hungry, so I'll, I'll eat some peanut butter crackers and a little bit of applesauce and drink a little bit of my lemonade, which I already have, watch maybe one or two episodes of TV. Matter of fact, I'm not sleepy, so I could just watch some TV, you know, till I get sleepy. That's usually what I do. Anyway, um, this was, uh, the, was supposed to be the Swaggerty Fort video, but it wasn't. It turned out to be the Bible Covered Bridge video with some other stuff thrown in. So, I hope everyone has a good, the nice Friday night. So obviously that's why it's so busy. 
Uh, looks like there's some people over there in the van taking some stuff out. And I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, so it's Friday night, so it's busy. I hope everyone has a, a good night uh, whenever you watch this. Good night, good weekend. God bless. Peace.